There is a common belief that creativity and struggles are linked. They say that passion doesn't pay bills and there's no certain roadmap to follow. And when I stood at a crossroad, out of fear of struggle, I chose a conventional route instead of following passion. And ironically, spent the rest of my life struggling from feeling misplaced and ended up at the square one in the middle of life. But is becoming an artist a struggle? Is this what we should tell to those who crave it? Or there's a roadmap to follow and it's just a business, another kind of business. Ever since its establishment, artists have been drawn to Laguna Beach for its incredible sceneries. So they settled here, opened galleries, studios, and established widely famous art festivals, Sawdust and Pageant of the Masters. So I'm here to visit glassblower John Barber. He's been in business for more than 40 years, and people from all over come to Sawdust Festival to see, to watch him blow glass. So I'll try to figure out his formula for success and he promised me that he is going to let me blow glass so I'm excited. Glass blowing is an ancient old craft dating back 3000 years and it virtually is done in the same manner, same tools for all these years, it is pretty incredible how you can produce so many shapes and patterns with a clear glass out of hot furnace. This is uh, the furnace we melt the glass in. How hot is it in here? It's like right now, it's on, kind of on idle. Mm -hmm. It's about 2,000 degrees. Learning glass blowing, it's kind of the Pavlov method. If you make a mistake and you touch a hot something, you never do that again because <laughs> it hurts so yeah. damn much. You know? <laughs> kind of see on the walls, it gets a, just a shade darker where the level of the glass is. Yeah. This holds about 200 pounds of clear glass. You want to give it a try? Yes! I don't know, you look pretty flammable. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> So you have to this turn way? it while you're holding it. Oh, then you're going to get blisters in your hands. No. No? <laughs> okay. See, now you have some glass on the end of that. Before it's blown out in the shade, we've gathered or worked in the different layers of color we need. It's so hot. <laughs> you have to gather a small gather, and in that time you can add, you know, chips of one color, we let it cool and then we go back in and get another gather, you know, building out building up the amount of material on the on the pipe. The craft of glass blowing demands exceptional focus and skills. In Europe, glass blowers spend 25 years in apprentice program before they can sit at a master's bench. And for this, you must have an undeniable passion for this craft. Every year I'll maybe shut it off and to do some repairs. I light it up again and I stand in front of it for the first time and I can feel every cell in my body just go, ah. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, you know, and uh, wow. I love it. John Barber's first passion was actually professional car racing, but when he was 19, two of his friends got into severe accidents and he decided that there must be something else for him. So he packed his bags and flew to Europe where he visited Bavaria. In Bavaria, right near the Czech border, and that's where I first saw it. And it, it was just one of those things I said, I could do this and what a challenge it would be. And so, uh, so I stayed in Bavaria, you know, slowly began to learn, you know, how to manipulate the glass hot. It's pretty exciting to be standing there in front of a belching furnace with molten glass. But of course, passion alone won't put food on the table. It's also hard work. Has been, he's been producing 12 tons of glass a year for the last 45 years and lots of hustling. What does it take? 
uh, or what skill do you need to have besides being talented and produce beautiful art? Uh, what else do you need to have to eventually make it in this tough world of art? Well, uh, some business sense is very You must helpful. have it, right? You know, you have to wear many hats. I mean, many factors involved, so, uh, you know, there was just me, so I did it all, you know. Taking on the world of art is a challenging affair, but it is a misconception that there's no roadmap to success. It's just a very long and difficult roadmap. It takes decades of hard work to perfect your craft, a business sense, willingness to wear many hats, hustle, and all while staying strong and treating obstacles and rejections as a constructive criticism and not as a heartbreak. There is no denial that only a true passion can carry you through all this. Such passion is a gift and if you are trying to fight it and you can't, then embrace it and let it take you on a wild ride.